Hey, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this video, I will show you the simulation of resistors connected in parallel. Also, we will understand related theoretical concepts with the help of this highly precise and beautiful simulation. So, don't go anywhere. Keep watching. In parallel connection of resistors, both the ends of the resistors are connected respectively to each terminal of other resistors. So these are in parallel. So the voltage drop that would be across two ohm resistor would be also across the one ohm resistor. So this is called a parallel connection of resistor. Due to availability of more than one path, the current can divide at the node. The magnitude of current is high for the branch having lower total resistance. So the current flowing through different branches or resistors is different. In this case, the net current that is flowing through the 6 volt battery source is divided at the junction. Okay, so some part goes into the 1 ohm resistor and the remaining part goes through the 2 ohm resistor. So it gets divided at this node. Okay. So this is due to the parallel connection of resistors where the current gets divided according to the value of resistance means lower the resistance higher would be the current flowing through it because it, it uh, offers less resistance or less hindrance to the flow of current. So the magnitude of current flowing through that resistor is high. But if the value of resistance is same in the branches then the equal amount of current will flow through it because the current would be divided equally therefore the resistors connected in parallel connection can be used as a current divider circuit since the net current is divided in these two resistors therefore the sum of currents flowing through these two resistors would add up to the net current flowing through the circuit okay but the potential difference that is the voltage drop across each branch in the parallel circuit is same. It means if I have applied here a 6 volt battery then the voltage as you can see the voltage drop across the 1 ohm resistor is 6 volts because both of the terminals of 1 ohm resistor are connected respectively to the ends of this 6 volt battery. And in the same way since the 2 ohm resistor is in parallel to this 1 ohm resistor and its uh, both ends respectively are connected to the both ends of the 1 ohm resistor therefore the voltage drop across these two resistances connected in parallel is same. Okay. The equivalent or the total resistance of the parallel circuit is the resistance that can replace this combination of parallel resistors without changing the voltage or current in the circuit. In the simulation you can see that 3 ampere of current is flowing through the 2 ohm resistor and 6 ampere is flowing through 1 ohm resistor. So the net current is 6 plus 3 equals to 9 ampere. So the 6 volt battery is uh, giving 9 amperes of current. Okay. How can we find the equivalent resistance? You need to understand that the reciprocal of equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of reciprocals of individual resistors connected in parallel. It means 1 upon R equivalent. If R equivalent is the total resistance, then 1 upon R equivalent is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. So you can write it as R equivalent is equals to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Here R1 and R2 are the respective resistances. In this parallel connection of resistors, the equivalent resistance is always less than the value of any individual resistance in the parallel connection. We can also see the total resistance of the circuit by adding ohm meter okay let's see the equivalent resistance of the parallel connection of 2 and 1 ohm is 667 milli ohm that is 2 r1 r2 divided by that is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 means 2 into 1 divided by 2 plus 3 that is 2 divided by 3 2 by 3 which comes out to be 667 milli ohms it is clear 
by this ohmmeter also now we will see some theoretical concept here in this image you can see that uh, this is the circuit that we have seen in the simulation r1 r2 of 2 and 1 ohm each and uh, current i and 6 volt and 6 volts of battery these two are connected in uh, these two resistors are connected in uh, parallel and to find the equivalent resistance we can use this formula 1 upon r equivalent 1 upon r1 plus r2 okay so it is equals to r equivalent comes out to be 2 by 3 ohm okay and uh, the net current is i1 plus i2 okay these are the i1 i2 flowing through r1 and r2 respectively so if i want to calculate i1 then i can use the ohm's law that is v equals to ir so i would be equals to v divided by r so current through the resistor r1 is i1 and to calculate i1 i need the voltage across this r1 and the resistance of this r1 so voltage across r1 is same as the voltage source of the battery voltage of the battery source that is 6 volts divided by this resistance that is 1 ohm so 6 by 1 comes out to be 6 amperes in this in the same way the voltage across r2 is 6 volts and the resistance is 2 ohm so 6 by 2 v divided by r2 is equals to 3 ampere so the total current is 6 plus 3 equals to 9 amperes okay and uh, the voltages are same equals to the voltage across the battery and if i want to see the equivalent circuit here is the equivalent circuit i have calculated that uh, this r equivalent equals to 2 by 3 so i have replaced the connection of these two parallel resistors by 2 by 3 ohm and 6 volt is the battery if i use again the ohm's law then i is equals to v by r equivalent i comes out to be 6 divided by the equivalent resistance 2 by 3 which is same as the 9 ampere as we have calculated here okay 9 ampere in the next video we will see few more circuits for more videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy thank you for watching see you soon in the next video bye bye